Good evening, New York. You are listening to the Dark Room on 87.7 WNYZ. This is Dark Room Live, and I'm your host, Gabe Galvin. If you are new to Dark Room Live, then you missed out on a movement, a movement of bringing live music to the radio. You know, you're used to going to, to venues to see the bands play live. Why not sit in the comfort of your own home and listen to a band playing live, coming out of your radio. And that's what we do here on Dark Room Live. Tonight's no exception. We have Attack Wave in the studio, performing live on the air for your listening pleasure. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. And everyone in Attack Wave is sitting behind me here in the control room. Want to say hi? Hi. Oh, <laughs> oh hey. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to listen to uh, some music. Give them time to get in the get their their way into the live room, and uh, and then they're going to play a live set here on the air for your for you to listen to and enjoy. That's that's the goal here tonight. All right. All right. All right let's do it. That was a good story. You got two minutes and eight seconds. Oh gosh. You sound like God. Brace yourselves. (sighs) Don't f it up, everyone's listening. (laughs) So let's go ahead and listen to Attack Wave performing live in the studio here on Indie Dark Room 87.7 WNYZ.
Indie Darkroom started about a, a, a year and a half ago, and we were given some airtime on 87.7, me and my partner Will, and um, at first we were, we were just interested in playing our friend's music, and then we thought, well, why don't we try to figure out a way to give exposure to all artists, and at that point we realized that uh, the whole idea of radio it's one th it's it's something we felt nostalgic about and something we identified with and as this unattainable thing as musicians like oh wow we get played on the radio how incredible is that and we would love to give that i give that to other artists out there and uh and then we started realizing how a lot of people might not even know what radio is these days and uh so we decided to kind of bridge the gap between the internet music world and the FM radio and so we made the website indiedarkroom.com where artists can upload their music and uh, let the listeners decide what they like and help them and they decide what gets played on the air and it, it grants exposure to the artists while letting the community take part in what gets played on the radio and that's where the Indie Darkroom came about and uh, we have a studio here where we like to have live bands on the air, and um, we have DJs that get, you know, they, they influence the broadcast with their personal taste, and everything comes from the website, and everything comes from the listeners and from the artists themselves. And that's what the Indie Dark Room is all about. It's just the, the community and, you know, kind of the DIY scene, and that's just about it.
What do you want to talk about? What's on your mind? What's on your <laughs> mind tonight? Um, is it this? From what I understand, this is your first live performance. This is our first live performance. So that's kind of what's on our mind, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I speak for all of us when I say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's in store in the future for Attack Wave? Is there uh, any future shows? Or are you just working on the uh, continuing this production? <laughs> uh, Melissa's not talking. Uh, <laughs> every band, not every band needs a mute, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm not sure what we're doing next. <laughs> right now or What next. are you doing what now? Are you doing? What are you... <laughs> What's happening? What's your five-year plan? <laughs> tell me that. Um, you don't have a five-year plan? No. You're in the wrong business, kid. Let like me tell second, you. We need like a second game plan. <laughs> yeah, this being our first gig. Yeah. Ever. Hey, your first gig ever is on the radio. I know. In so, New York. So what are we going to do? Can there, you can only go this. down from there, yeah, that's what right? I, well, I think <laughs> we should with stick that. with their like dance music for shut-ins theme, you and know? just only play where there are no audiences. Yeah. Attack wave. <laughs> yes. I've noticed that the the spelling of the name yeah. is all caps. Yeah. And it's attack dot wave. Yes. Should I be should I be saying that the band is attack dot wave or attack wave? I mean, I've always said attack wave. Yeah. But. I don't know, Tyler. I think Melissa, you say you say dot, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. So there hasn't been a consensus no. yet. No. You you kind of jumped right into it. Like, let's play our first show to an audience of 190,000 listeners. <laughs> That's our first show, first of all. And secondly, we have no formal consensus of on the name. On the name. <laughs> no. I That's mean... bold. That's really bold. It's really bold. Thank you. We try not to communicate. <laughs> um, Attack dot wave. It's spelled W A V, right. like a wave file. Yeah. Like so, that was another question of mine because this is really important stuff that I, I, I trouble myself with, and I need to know the answer. Is it dot wave as in a, a file extension, or is it dot wave as in you know like a URL like. You know, because because now there's like, I there's, was, I you know, was there's thinking file extension. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So long story short, Attack Wave, delivering dreams, uh, wrapped in rainbows by unicorns, and uh, you're here in the studio tonight. Your first performance ever live on the air. Thank you for having us. Don't yeah. mess it up. Don't, don't screw. <laughs> <laughs> don't screw up, guys. It's so rad. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do you say? Uh, more music? You want to play some more? Yeah, let's do it.
Well, sometimes New York City can make you feel kind of down and lonely, sad, walking, seeing all the faces all the time. You want to see a furry face sometimes. And so I decided to look on Craigslist, an awesome .org website where you can find almost anything from free dirt to free chairs and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I decided to go meet this girl this person with free gerbils and I went to the Hughes stop right over here uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I uh, texted her I was like yo uh, I, I'm off the stop she's like yo so am I and I saw her and I was like whoa <laughs> like that's a beauty you know <laughs> and uh, then I got the gerbils, tested them out, you know, made sure they were not dead or just diseased or angry gerbils, biters. And took them home, was excited, kind of sad because they had to ride on the subway and it was really vibrating and like they are just small. And yeah, so right when I got home I got a text and it was like, <coughs> yo! Uh, I only know you from the gerbil business, but do you want to get some coffee sometime? <laughs> yeah, right? No, that's seriously. Yeah. Gerbils of love. The gerbils of love. If one of you has a story, I would love to hear it in lieu of story time with Sterling. Nothing. Can you tell me my story. Oh, the the beard story? story? <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Come on, someone's gotta have a story. Um, uh, Does anyone remember too much pressure, their first Halloween? <laughs> I um I I still love candy corn. That's a good story. It's a good story. Is that a story? No. <laughs> Standing corn to work for Halloween. <laughs> and then what happened? They, they, put it, they, fascinating. they put it in a nice little glass jar, <laughs> and I was the only one eating out of it. I, I was having, like, handfuls. 
four or five times a day. <laughs> <laughs> it was like right by the printer. I was just like, no, no one's eating it. I don't just eat it. <laughs> It's like That's eating teamwork. It's like <laughs> eating wax, like it doesn't do anything to you. It's really tasty wax. <laughs> yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. You like it? It's totally delicious. And I like the little pumpkin ones too. The the pumpkin. The, well, that's a special that's a little burst of flavor. That's a special mix. <laughs> you can't if you go for you, you don't know if the pumpkins are in there. You have to look to make sure that that's the batch that you get. Right. And you said you didn't have a story. wave performing live from our studio on the air and uh here they are they're right here hi hello hi we're still here we're still here and i'm grateful i'm glad you're still here yeah we are too that was sweet you played uh five songs five yeah. songs that's a lot to ask in some way. <laughs> is it though when it your is. songs are really really short yeah it's <laughs> well can you put a value on an increment of time? That's the question of the night. I think you can. I'll be thinking about that for the rest of the after all. We time, all will. Time is money. <laughs> it's true. The first thing that Tyler said when he came in was, he's, he said, what happened to you? Or something like that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because well, he expected no, more of a beard. Out. More of a beard. Less of a handsome beard. Yeah. And, uh, um, and I said, well, don't I? I shaved it off handsomely, right? And he just rolled his, he shook his head at me. He walked away. Yeah. So, well, uh, what were we talking about? I feel like I'm talking to a <laughs> Remember that guy in Gainesville that used to roll down his, the window of his car when we were on tour and yell at people on the street and be like, shave your beard, buy a keyboard. Oh, that guy. But yeah. Gainesville, Gainesville, Florida? Yeah. Did you live there or you just toured there? We toured there a few years ago. That, Not this band. That was that All was of my us uh, in this band and a previous band. Most of the people here at the Indie Dark Room have lived in Gainesville for long stints at time, of time. I've heard some stories about Gainesville. You guys. And there are plenty of them. <laughs> so there's a I I heard that there's some sort of television broadcast associated with tonight's performance. Now the radio is on television, is yes. what you're telling me. Mm-hmm. So so you're 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 playing a show. But you're playing a show on the radio, but then the radio is then on television. So it's getting kind of convoluted. Right. It also really um, counts as our next show, so we can push off playing in front of people. A little that's longer. that's true, and it, I think it makes you time travelers also. All right. So <laughs> enough of this nonsense. Um, let's just move on with the show. You know, 
We started as friends, and now we hate each other for some reason. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a jerk. Something about this place. Yeah. Thanks for coming. It was a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully you can come back soon. Like, a lot of fun. Let's do that. And, uh, yeah. So you've been listening to Dark Room Live here on the Indie Dark Room 87.7 WNYZ. We've had Attack Wave in the studio. They performed five songs live on the air. They talked with me for a while. And you can find their music at IndieDarkRoom.com slash Attack Wave. And also at...